Bonjour Paris. I feel like I started the other vlog like this as well. But welcome to Paris once again. We are on the last full day that we have in Paris and we came up with something really fun to do today that is actually very special and it involves you. Basically, Jake got a really, really good idea that he's been telling me for a while now and now was just the perfect time to try it out. And um, basically it is to create more of like a closer relationship with you. So I posted a story asking who wanted to join for a picnic and I thought, okay, maybe like 10, 15, maximum 20 people would get back and say, yeah, sure, let's catch up and then probably only 10 would show up. Like that's kind of my expectations to it was and um, after 24 hours of having it up we have I think it was around 150 people who said I'm down let's meet although there were no corona restrictions there is regular gathering restrictions of groups higher than 30 people so I ended up really being sad because I didn't want to pick and choose and the solution that we came up with was to create a little fun quiz so we're meeting you guys <laughs> tonight in Paris for a picnic and I have never been this excited before. I'm also really nervous because this is the first time I'm meeting you guys for like a really casual thing. And I'm just, I don't know why, I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> We did something that might be considered very criminal since we're in Paris. It's good though. I have no regrets. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shoot, it's red! I, you know, like here in Paris, people just collectively agree to walk over and then I don't even notice that it's red. Oh goodness, it's actually kind of scary. <laughs> Hi. Hey, can we order please? Merci beaucoup. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Same shit. Hey, <laughs> you Joey. So for everyone who's joining tonight, we have a, a little group chat called Paris picnic and we were just talking about how old everyone were the age gap is really really like just everywhere which is fantastic then we started talking about birthdays and apparently half of you are from September as well and maybe that's why everyone is planning it so thoroughly because the Virgo energy is like oozing through the phone right now I love this group chat <laughs> someone said baby yeah, Amanda, she said, oh my, I hope Jake is ready for whatever is coming tonight. <laughs> when, I, when I told him that everyone was Virgos almost, he was like, oh my god, I'm leaving. He's dealing with this craziness every day. <laughs> So many, but why is like all of their crisps looking super like fancy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel so bad because <laughs> everyone just took care of everything, so I don't really know what I'm supposed to bring. But so far, we just got some crisps, hopefully, that's okay. What magical ancient European garden have we just entered right now? Oh. 
I think this is the most beautiful park I've ever seen in my life. And it's here we're gonna have the picnic. How perfect, seriously. Wow, that tree. It must be like hundreds of years old. place for the picnic I think I hope this is okay um, we're sitting underneath this tree that you can actually see right here and it looks incredibly old and it's so majestic with its crown just reaching in over the spot where we we're sitting I thought this was so romantic and cute and it's kind of like a little hug of a lot of people who don't know each other like I'm also really just impressed about people who say that they want to join this kind of thing um, I would like to think of myself as someone who is not very introvert, like I'm very extroverted, but still I can get like nervous and also I can hesitate meeting up with people that I don't know where I'm the only one that I know myself, <laughs> if it makes sense. I just want to like, just like point out how cool it is that you guys and so many of you guys wanted to join and are joining. I'm just, I'm blown away and I'm so over the moon thankful that I have you know this community with you where we can just meet up and have fun in random places of the world I definitely will do that more in the future but I can feel like the closer we come to 7 p.m. the more nervous I'm definitely getting I am a little nervous it's not like I'm like insecure and nervous. I'm excited Emma, and I'm also, you know, there's this little part of me that is a bit scared that people might perceive me not as they do on my videos and be disappointed. I don't know if it makes sense. Um, and it's definitely just my shadow size who think that way. I, I think I've worked with myself a lot over doing like this kind of job for that long, but um, I'm just really excited and really nervous and I can't wait to see you. <laughs> I don't even know how to do this. It's so fun. Elise, the gay. Ellie, Jake, Marion. 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 I've never met anyone who's Marion? worse Marion? at pronouncing. How, how do you how do you spell it? Uh, what was it called again? It's called oh, some, you have some uh, different brands. Like, yeah, this one is pastis. Is pastis. 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 Tasting a French drink for the first time. Jake is not. He wasn't a fan. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Do you like it? Eh? Do you, do you like it? Too strong? Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna chalk it. Yeah, John, cheers. Right, don't chalk it. <laughs> this is what Koreans do, okay? Uh. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's, not, it's not really not soju. <laughs> it's not soju. Yeah. <laughs> it's not soju. 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 I hope you don't mind if I say that oh I love you. There's yeah. so many ways I really want to <laughs> carve out our names for the last minute play just as <laughs> We can change the sun as it says. Yeah, it's really, really cute. Really it's like cute. a fairy tale. I'm like, oh.
Cheers. Cheers. If I say that I love you every day, another high to We're going for round number two, and this is my first time in Paris um, transportation. Oh, really? <laughs> that I say that I love you. It's not a word I think we should hold back saying. In fact, I don't think we can say it enough because it'll never lose its meaning to me. And when I'm in your presence, in the presence of this community, that's exactly how I feel. Although it's my first time meeting you like this, I feel like we all know each other already and seeing your faces like this leaves me with an intense and magical feeling of confirmation that the space we're creating together is right. I want our community to be a space of love and compassion where we can connect to each other, make new friends, grow together, dance together, and just experience life in all of its magic together. I definitely feel like we've created this and I'm saying we even though it's me who made this YouTube channel and who started this thing but it's a we because without you guys it wouldn't be anything it wouldn't mean anything we wouldn't have this community and not only that I wouldn't even be here I wouldn't sit right now in this apartment with even with the man that I'm with with Jake Everything that has happened is because of you guys in my life and I'm able to confidently pay my healthcare insurance without worrying and I'm able to save up money for new adventures and also for a rainy day which is a privilege and it's all because of you. I want to extend my utmost full gratefulness. I'm so thankful for you, so thank you so much for being with me and supporting me on this journey for the past seven years, but also just creating this community together. It was so magical seeing you in Paris and I really hope that I can see you again somewhere, maybe here in Seoul for a picnic or anywhere else in the world, to be honest. I'm excited for whatever is to come and I'm excited to see you. <laughs> and also thank you for following along on this um, summer holiday in Europe. I'm back in Korea and from next week you'll start to see more Korea videos but with a lot more in-depth topics and I want to go deeper into some more meaningful things, let's just put it that way. So if there is anything you ever want me to talk about or to put a finger on or to share my thoughts on, leave it down below. I would love to hear and you're part of this just as much as anyone else. So thank you again. I can't believe that I haven't thanked you like this before, but it's about time. You mean the world to me. Now I'll see you next week. Bye.